Hold Duke Johnson. So with Hugh Jackson and Todd Haley with the Browns this year, Duke Johnson, who by the way, has led running backs in receptions from 2015 through 2017, he averaged 3.6 targets per game with those two guys there. Without Jackson and Haley in week nine, Duke Johnson saw nine targets. It went from 3.6 per game to nine. Maybe this was just a matchup thing because Kansas City entered the week ranked second in receptions allowed to running backs, and according to Number Fire's expected points model, the Chiefs also allowed a top 10 success rate to the running back position through the air. And it's not like we saw an abnormally high snap rate from Duke Johnson. He had a 46.7% rate this past weekend when he's hit that in three other games this year. And while his routes run number was one of the higher marks at the running back position in week nine, the 26 routes run, according to Pro Football Focus, was actually on par with what we'd seen from him in weeks five, six, and seven. Now, I love me some Duke Johnson. I think Duke Johnson's a really good running back, but I'm just trying to be level-headed here because really there may be just as much of a chance that he's not back than he is back. But you don't need to bet on that this week because in week 10, Cleveland just happens to be facing Atlanta who have easily given up the most running back receptions over the last few seasons in the NFL. So you might wanna just hold on to Duke Johnson for one more week, get his value even higher, and then just reevaluate.